we're gonna. Ha I mean, this is one of those things with uh, with round one in pools is that especially with like a 200 person uh, event like this or close to it, there's gonna be a lot of people coming through and you're not gonna know all of them. So we're gonna we're gonna figure out what we are dealing with here as we go. I am looking up these players. So we can find out what we uh, what there is to find out. Ada Farah. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, looks like a Falco player, which okay, we do see that on screen. We got Falco and Cloud jumping on into it. And this matchup, right, is one where Falco on paper gets outspeeded on the ground, but has mm. laser to kind of lock down some of this ground control. However, Cloud, right, very good at juggling, very good at controlling that vertical space in front of him with things like forward air, things like back air as well, to kind of lock down some of Falco's full hop game, some of those combos. If Cloud gets over aggressive swinging though, it's gonna provide prime opportunity for Falco to kind of come in with a counter hit. And once he finds that one hit, can push Cloud into these edge guard scenarios where he struggles very easily. For sure. I mean, Falco, I am already thinking about Falco in the corner. Uh, I mean, that's difficult for the entire cast against Cloud with, with these back airs. Um, but geez, I mean, Falco's pretty light. That's gonna be a problem pretty early on. I'm gonna live that limit cross slash cross stage. Um, and now just the laser pressure, right? Try and trap your landing, force you to make an antsy choice. You do, and now it's gonna be out of Farrah's turn. Gonna Ooh. find the drag down, not gonna spike, but not gonna matter. It sends the direction you need, and with no limit charge, no jump, no oh, problem. However, Kev's gonna answer right back, scoop you up with an up smack of his own, and just like that, pass for back even. Yeah, that was that was kind of wild. <laughs> That was looking like Kev's game at the start there. Kind of unfortunate uh, ledge scenario there. Now you gotta be careful about laser camping here when you have a uh, limit blade beam on deck, which you do have a reflect for that. Want to be able to... Wait, I think limit just ran out there. I saw the reflect interrupt a move from Cloud. That may have been the start of a limit move. Laser here to jump at ledge, but that climb hazard going to get you back from the corner patch. However, Falco, again, we were talking about the juggle, right? The up tilt, one of the best in the game, and the F smash poking just past ledge. Wow. What a spacing, what a call out. Out of Farah finding a way to build at least a little lead. Okay, and now we're doing Falco things. Good wait there. Resetting. We've got more more combos. Uh, including a drop one, but I mean 54, that's that's not bad. This is Well <laughs> looking pretty good for Adafera until until you're at ledge. Really nice use of limit blade beam there. That was indeed untechable. But all of a sudden, Falco's Got things started. Did not get the second hit of that up tilt, but it doesn't matter. Keeping things going across stage. I love the movement here, but getting caught a little bit longer than optimal on his dash chances. If over the laser, beautiful discipline, saving the jump and the neutral air dodge. No fastball to find a way back. Great route from Kev. However, that fair so close to spiking, so close to locking it down. We are in the closing moments, no matter what. Oh my what god. A blade beam to catch this one. And now no jump, no resources, but no problem to find a way back. Ada Farah has been playing on point here, finding in so many ways to give himself extra opportunities in this game. One. This is just about even. That's not gonna kill quite yet. Oh man, I'm just assuming that pretty much anything will kill Falco right now. And dash attack from Cloud absolutely will. So this is interesting. While that was uh, starting up, doing a little bit of research, Kev or something actually does not have entered results since last year's Scarlet Classic. So this might be a, this might be a revival of sorts, a comeback, if you will. Yeah, it may also just be right the sake of you know the be a player at their college entering their college event, but they don't enter outside of that pipe. Yeah, I mean if it's good. if it's not on Star GG, I guess it's you know, did it really happen? Exactly. <laughs> Star GG is like Star GG is our bounds of reality here in Smash.
Which is unfortunate because, you know, it's not the best. But it gets the job done, uh, which Kevr something is gonna be hoping to do here on Battlefield, game two. Interesting, well, no, I mean, okay, this is, actually, no. This is interesting to not ban against Falco. I feel like you got extensions for days, maybe even weeks. Yeah, you you have those, like Falco has those extensions, but Cloud Rite's so good at juggling that you think maybe, you know, there's a world in which you can, you know, be neutral and then not have to worry about it. It's definitely a scary stage for, against Falco because of that explosiveness, but it's not the end-all be-all victory, you know, ban here that it would be against a character like Mario. Sure, sure. That almost killed 103 after the hit. I mean, Adafera knows what he needs to do on this stage here. Okay, good job by uh, Kev not burning limit and then turning it around into the first stock. Yeah, finding a way to lock that one down has been absolutely a blast so far. Out of fair, though, potentially as well. Finding that stock off the roommate power up. I see his roommate cheering for him in, in chat, and it doesn't uh, get much better than some of your closest folks, like having your back when it matters most. Out of fair, potentially feeling that one here through the aether as he starts to build this percent up on Kev and make this lead almost non existent. You know. It's funny, I feel like uh, Falco is kind of the opposite of <laughs> the power of friendship. <laughs> Fox, can you get him off my back, please? Like, <laughs> but uh, not not quite a, a Sora <laughs> type type deal. Beautiful parry there from Atafera, though. These parries have been on Ooh. point time and time again, but what a call out. Utilizing the slight hurtbox shift back that Cloud does when he swings that Buster Sword up to just shimmy out of that beak and find the sock. Catching these aggressive jumps that Atafera got a lot of mileage off uh -oh. of game one, but here it's oh! not too much. That was a little ambitious. I appreciate going for the clip there. Uh, I mean, Atafera did have limited options there. Um, I respect it from Kev, but, you know. <laughs> Try again next time, I guess. There's probably not going to be a next time for Out of Fera, though. Although... Nope, okay, Kev able to get out of that up tilt combo. Uh, yeah, okay, just, Out of Fera just barely living and jumping right into that limit blade beam. That's a situation where if you're Kev, like, there's really no reason not to send that. If it doesn't hit, you win the game. If it doesn't hit, you're possibly going to be able to set up into, like, a down air two frame or something like that. So, nice little, uh, I don't want to say checkmate scenario, but Kev had all the cards there for sure. Yeah, it, he had all the cards, and, and it really felt like, you know, it felt like Adafera had opportunities right it didn't feel like he was lost it didn't feel like he was just out being outplayed and couldn't win neutral he had some great spacing just like that with the f smash it just felt like he got caught a little bit over aggressive at times right things like those illusions things like some you know maybe over aggressive um empty hops and forward airs that just kept getting called out by cloud a character that you can't overextend like that with your jumps with because of well, just how good that sword is at keeping you and in the air on Cloud's terms. For sure. That was nice. Be able to not have to burn limit. And then there you go. You take a stock. Yeah, so that's uh that's one of those 2-0, but it it was it was pretty close. Adafera had um a lot of things going for him, just kinda yeah, I, I mean, with a character like Falco, I mean, this is this is kind of why I personally feel slightly. Uh, I think I think being light in this game is a pretty big problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I mean, for a character like Fox, you know, maybe less so. That really is a shame that Kev didn't get that clip there because it did actually hit with the climb hazard, just wasn't far enough into the sword to be able to get hit. Or I guess low enough to get hit beneath it on the way down. But 
you know, if you don't if you don't go for stuff like that, if you don't try it, you're never gonna hit it. I right? mean, if you don't go for stuff like that, right? You miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Exactly. And brackets like this. You know, brackets when you're not expecting to go into it necessarily and win as a player are the perfect opportunity to push your limits and see, well, what can I get away with in the future? How can I improve? Right? What can I optimize? You said push your limits about Cloud. <laughs> well, actually, good, he's, good he's, he's really charging his limits more than pushing them. But yeah, I guess <laughs> I, I, I guess I guess I guess we can we can make that a bit touch. I hear limit it's buzzword. Hey, uh, limit cloud, cloud real, limit real, cloud, cloud, <laughs> Final Fantasy. Oh my God, cloud and Smash, guys. 